Hello and welcome to another project from Stamping with Ian. Uh, today we're going to make a box. Uh, if you saw yesterday's video, uh, then you would have seen the I used the narrow note cards for a thank you card. Uh, I'm going to make a few more of those and do a gift box for them. This is the box. Uh, seals at the bottom, and then you have a flap, closing flap at the uh, at the top. Quite a sturdy box with our thick. Whisper White cardstock. Uh, I'm going to make another box, so I won't be using this one. This one was just the uh, kind of the prototype, but a lovely size box, as you can see. Uh, I've done a bit of prep for the decoration because I want to concentrate on making the box, and I don't want this to be a very long video, as usual. <laughs> I do like my short videos, you know. <laughs> well, you know. I don't have a lot of time, and I'm sure lots of other people don't have a lot of time either. So, you know, quick is the key for me. Anyway, so this project, this box, uh, was uh, made by uh, by Terry over at uh, stampingmagic.com. Go and pay her a visit, a lovely lady. Uh, I've got some, I've got my trimmer here. going to extend. Right, it needs to be, on this short side, it needs to be seven and three quarters. So I'll take that to there. Take that off. Don't need that, get rid of it. And on this side, eight and a half. So there we go. Eight and a half, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Sure it's level. Save that. But yep. Save these. These. Uh, this is a decent sized piece of cardstock. You know, uh, ideal for layering, stamping. You know, die cutting, punching, whatever. Right. Get rid of the trimmer. We don't need that again, just at the moment. And we'll bring out our stamping scored. Love this. Oops. Must be. I've just belted a, one of my lights with this. <laughs> oh dear me, what am I like? Okay. Now then, this is the long side, the eight and a half, eight and a half side. And we're going to score it at two and seven eighths, which is just there. With a good score, this is our thick cardstock. And then again at four. Then again, six and seven eighths, and again at eight. Okay, that's our scoring done for the long side. Now for the short side, we're going to score it at one and one eighth, which is this little one there, down there like so, at six and one eighth. Now don't worry about remembering any of these measurements because they'll all be on the blog post uh, which you'll find a direct link to this project uh, down below, okay? And finally, on this side, seven and a quarter. Lovely. Okay, put this away. And do some cutting. Now you might not be able to see. Can you see the score lines? Possibly not. <laughs> anyway, uh, first things first. Let's get rid of uh, this little tab here. So up the score line. And then just a little notch in. I've, made, I've done that too big. Okay. And same again here. Little notch in and get rid of this bit here. Lovely. This is our bottom. So we're going to cut out the score lines. 
up to that first one. So you're not taking a lot out. Just kind of a little bit like that. And do that for all of these. Okay, now then, I need to get rid of this one here. Okay, and go up to the the score line here on all of the on these. Right, uh, we don't need this bit here, this small bit and this big bit here, so they can go. And we don't need that little bit there. Okay, there we have our shape. Okay, uh, we're going to use a corner rounder. This is contraband, this corner rounder, don't worry about it. Just around those corners, it makes it easier for the uh, the box to close. Like so, and now we're going to fold and burnish all of our score lines. So, turn them all over. Get our bone folder. Make them nice and crisp. Right. Okay. On this bit, this is the back, about halfway. So, what is this? About three and three and a bit inches. So, about halfway. It's about there, probably. Can make a little pencil mark and then we get my three quarter inch circle punch that's a half inch very silly <laughs> this, is, this is a three quarter and just make a little notch just like that i get it in the middle bingo lovely jubbly right next thing is we're going to glue <clears throat> glue this so i've got my amazing multi-purpose glue here Love this stuff. There we go. Oh, has it run out on me? <laughs> no, no, there we go. Right, and then just lay that down, make sure it's level, and press down. Get, get any air bubbles out, make sure it's nice and level. Isn't that is lovely? Now, to do the bottom. This is the uh, this is the front, so I'm going to put that the back piece in first, like so, okay, and then we're going to glue the top piece here, and we're going to glue the side pieces here. So you can see this, they go down, like so, and then that goes on top, making sure it's square. Then just put your bone folder in and give it a press down. 
make sure that glue sticks. And there we have our there we have our box, which does close. Lovely. Okay, so now we get to now we get to decorate it. So I've got some balmy blue cardstock, balmy blue gingham garla DSP, lemon line twist uh, organdy ribbon, uh, lemon line twist scallop circle, uh, stitch circle, white whisper white, and then a fussy cut butterfly from the butterfly gala. Sorry, botanical butterflies DSP. All right, I'll put which circles I've used on the blog post as well as the measurements of these bits of cardstock too. So, back to our glue. Slap it on. <laughs> and then line it up so it's level. There's only a little border on this. Look at that. God, I'm good. <laughs> hey, you have to blow your own trumpet, you know, nobody else does. <laughs> not really, not really. Right, grab that. That goes on the front of our box. Just like so. And what I'll probably do, if I make another one of these, I will attach this before I assemble the box. Uh, yeah okay for our circle and our lovely butterfly I'm gonna get some dimensionals I think three on this keep it in place certainly no more than three Place this near the top. Let's put the butterfly to jaunty angle, shall we? So, press it down, and there we have our narrow note cards box. So, uh, sadly, I don't have any cards to show you that are going in here. Uh, I will make. I am making some more though, and then I'll do a photograph uh, with them and this box for the blog post and video. Because uh, the the one I made has already been put in the post uh, for its intended purpose of sending some happy mail to a friend. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, like and subscribe. Share the video, ring the notification bell, you'll always know uh, when I've got a post coming, a video coming even. Uh, I say all the measurements are on the blog post. Whatever you're doing today, have a lovely time, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye now.